PanicAttackRecovery.com. Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, anxiety, stress, and ADHD. We also invite and welcome anyone interested in taking care of their mental health to experience our content. Often those struggling with ADHD and anxiety can be quite self-conscious about whether others are judging them. Some people tend to withdraw more if they feel they're being judged. Other people can become very reactive and defensive when they sense this is happening. However, these interpretations are not always accurate. You see, we all struggle with this. This is because we might try to minimize anything about ourselves we feel others may not approve of. This is not a criticism of anyone with this tendency. In fact, all of us in the PanicAttackRecovery.com community have been there. I've struggled with anxiety and a lot of stress. And that's why I came to this community, because I want to help people who are going through what I went through. We found that the solution to one's struggles often begins with being honest about what you're going through and accepting where you're at right now. Then, becoming aware of more aspects of yourself can allow you to move forward and grow, meaning you can learn and make changes that benefit your mental health and life in general. So, how does one make this shift? Here are some suggestions. Recognize that we all have strengths and weaknesses. Spend some time taking an inventory of your strengths and weaknesses. This might seem like a negative focus, but in fact, it can be very informative and rewarding process given what you can learn. Take time on a regular basis to be more self-reflective of your actions and reactions to various matters that may have arisen recently. Use your reflection on various matters to examine whether there's a lesson that you might get from the experience. Often, if you start asking yourself what you can learn from an experience, this can lead to insights and knowledge that can help you in future situations and lessen your stress and anxiety. The self-reflective process can be rewarding for those who carry it out on a regular basis. It can not only help your anxiety, but even improve your relationships with others if they're strained at times and improve the quality of your life in general. Now, there are many other techniques and strategies that we discuss in our free newsletter, which provides an overall approach to anxiety, panic attacks, and ADHD. To subscribe to our newsletter, please visit our website. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to presenting another video next week. Take care. PanicAttackRecovery.com